What it is guys, my name is Swifters and today I have for you guys an insane video. As you guys can see, I am currently here in my hotel room in Los Angeles. Thanks to the members of Activision for flying me here to attend COD XP. I've had a great time so far. Now for those of you who don't know, yesterday there was an exclusive Treyarch Zombies panel with Craig Houston and the man, the myth, the legend himself, Jason Blundell. I unfortunately got to the panel a little bit late so I wasn't able to hear everything that was said, but by the end of the panel, Treyarch and more so Jason Blundell handed out a couple of really awesome goodies. Now I teased this a little bit on my Twitter account, but myself and everyone who was at that Zombies panel got to receive some exclusive Black Ops 3 Zombies DLC posters. So after the panel was over, I walked up to Jason Blundell, I got to meet him, and as I was walking up, he pointed at me and he said, I know who you are. That took me by surprise, because Blundell knew who me, Brandon, Swifters was. Just because I posted YouTube videos about zombies, it really shows how in touch he is with the community. That was so crazy and so, so surreal that Jason Blundell knew my name and he knew who I was. So that was really, really cool. But to top it all off, we got some exclusive posters, which are absolutely nuts, and I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. So as you guys can see, we have this poster tube right here. It says Call of Duty XP 2016 Treyarch Zombies Panel. One of the sides is open, which means I have laid out all of these posters on the ground and I'm going to show you guys them right now. So we've got DLC 1, DLC 2, DLC 3, and DLC 4. So here we go. The first poster I have for you guys is this one, Der Eisendrock. Oh my god. This is so, so beautiful. We've got our four characters, Dempsey, Richthofen, Takio, and Nikolai, the castle in the background, the gondola, the zombies, the rocket. We've got the coordinates to Werfen, Austria, right over here. Overall, this poster is so, so amazing. I love it. It's not my favorite poster out of the ones that we received, but it's definitely in my top two. Moving on to the next one, we've got... DLC 2, which of course is Zetsubo no Shima. This poster is super, super creepy. We've got the silhouette of Tokyo on the right hand side, the creepy trees, the spider, Richthofen, Nikolai, Dempsey, some zombies in the forefront, and a really cool thing I wanted to point out. It's really, really hard to see, but right here we have a KN44 assault rifle. Now it was confirmed not too long ago by Blundell that there is some significance of the KN44. So it's an easter egg that us as a community definitely need to be looking into a little bit more. So the KN44 is here on the poster which is super super cool. Moving on to DLC 3. So again, DLC 1 Der Eisendrock, DLC 2 Zetsubo no Shima, DLC 3 of course is Gorod Krovi. We've got the Gorod Krovi logo in the bottom right, Nikolai screaming, the dragon breathing fire, the mech suit. We've got Dempsey, we've got Takio, we've got Richthofen wielding the ray gun Mark III. These things look so, so crazy on the poster. Like, I know they look mental in the actual game, but just seeing them on the poster with all of its details are super, super cool. So Gorod Krovi looks super, super awesome. Moving on to the final poster, which myself and I'm sure you guys are super excited to take a closer look at. Here we go. DLC 4, Revelations. Oh my god. Call of Duty posted this exact image on their Twitter and I didn't think that I was actually able to get a poster like this, let alone all of the other ones. But here we are, Revelations DLC 4, the Origins style text. Right up here, Revelations, we've got Dr. Monty in the center looking mean as hell. He's got his red scarf, which is confirmed to be the same one on Origin. So that is a really cool Easter egg in and of itself. We've got the, the beacon in the center with its blue light on his forehead. The Shadow Man on the right-hand side. The Apothecon symbols in the back. Looks like a small summoning key, an Apothecon. Right over there, we've got the blue moon universe type thing over here. Don't really know what that is. We've got an eclipse right over here. Some more Apothecon symbols. The house, the summoning key. This is actually confirmed to be a heart. So that is a heart right there, which is really, really cool. And then again, on the left-hand side, we have our four characters. Takio holding a katana. Nikolai holding a banshee. 
Richtofen holding the E9 Rift, and Dempsey holding what appears to be a Thunder Gun. We don't exactly know at this time, but overall this poster is so, so beautiful. I am so thankful that I was able to pick up this one and all of the other DLC ones. So you've got DLC 4, which is almost ready to come out on the 6th of November. I'm sorry, the 6th of September. My bad. So in a couple of days after I return home from COD XP this upcoming Tuesday. So again, DLC 4, DLC 3, DLC 2, DLC 1. Overall, these posters are so, so awesome. And I wanted to go ahead and show you guys them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm at a loss for words that I was actually able to get these posters. Meet Jason Blundell, him knowing who I was. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links to those can be found in the description below. One final thing, make sure that you guys pick up your Swifters t-shirts. Again, you guys can find them at swifters.com. Link down below. With all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you guys later.